All right, we're back. Circling Back Podcast presented by Busy Heart Cell to the only heart cell with vitamin C and superfruit acerola. My name's Will DeFreeze. To my left, David Roth. Where are we at on zoos? Zoos? Yeah. Um, Was he the guy that threw lightning bolts from the sky? That's him. Um, Some zoos. What's an ethical zoo? Some zoos do like, uh, you know, they take in animals that you know, need some TLC. You know, they just bring him in and just mash that creep button. Yeah, don't, dude, Dave, yeah. don't open the door for him to sing, dude. That's uh, a great point. The Who's Austin, cooking? you know, Austin has a zoo, and the animals that are at this zoo um, are not suited for the wild. Why? Uh, for example, they have a, a bald eagle with uh, one foot. Oh, and it needs a little help getting around. They're not suited for the wild. They're more they're not, zooted. Yeah, they're suited and zooted. The reason I ask, you might be wondering, what? Why would Dave just bring that up? This this TikTok video from uh, at its underscore just underscore me, o two one five, of this gorilla just running out and just sliding up oh, to yeah. the to the window. It's just like, man, I would love to to go see some some gorillas. Gorillas are dope, man. Are they playing at ACL? <laughs> are they cartoons still, or are they doing like their real faces? I don't know. Didn't they get canceled or something? I don't know. It seems like something Randy would be into. I never thought the gorillas were that good. I didn't either. What's some What's some of their work, Dave? Tell me something. <laughs> they... That's probably or uh, I got sunshine in a bag. The future. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that song. It's a mistakes. good beat. They were hella mid. Whenever they were on TRL, I was like, oh, they were, oh, wish I could sorry. fast forward, dude. Yeah, big in the UK. I just don't. I don't like my musicians uh to be animated i like to see real people oh i know what happened they didn't get canceled he the the one of the guys from the gorillas just said something about taylor swift's uh songwriting abilities which if i think i think that's like the, one of the only things you can't dunk on taylor swift for i'm just impressed that gorilla can write a song to begin with. that's what i said Good. too i was like dude how do you hold that little pencil right well they have they have hands, right? Yeah, but like, imagine how big their hands are compared to the pencils they probably write these. Do songs they have with. to like the bass? For is it like a, a instrument? Are they larger to accommodate their bigger hands? Are number two pencils made out of poop? Hmm. I don't. I, I don't out know. Out of poop? Yeah. Mm. You know, because number two. Why was, was it that the number two ass? pencil was the only one you could do like the toss know. test? Scantron, with. you put it in with like a number three pencil. Like, whoa, 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 what is this? Oh, dude, you're on some web point one uh, shit. Excuse my me. dude. Can you please run this back? With this is two. definitely not decentralized pencil. Anyway. Should we be centralizing more pencils? Dave does a really nice pencil, by the way. You saw you see it in our Mugsy video. I'm pretty nice with it. Yeah. You get me on a boat, you stiff know. Stiff as a board, man. That's why I go no life jacket, though. It compromises the oh. integrity of the pencil. It, it absolutely Yeah, does. but it kind of pops you right back up. There you go. Buoyancy. You hear about these? Do you know if someone, if you're whitewater rafting, something that I do occasionally, and someone falls off the raft, do you know the proper way to get them back in the boat? No. Push down. You grab them by the top of the life jacket, you push down, and then the buoyancy pops them back up. How about that? Pretty crazy. How I wish I would have known that like back in the day when we were just like drunk boating. How about that? That's a nice little trick, man. You do a lot of drunk boating? <laughs> well, our, our captain was sober, Dude, but don't... you know, there were a lot of times when people would get drunk and go swimming in like a life jacket, and then they'd ha they were drunk and they'd have trouble getting back in the boat. And Knowing that trick probably would have helped. As uh, as noted boat guy, I used to be a boat guy. It sucked because everyone else on your boat would be just like getting torched, you know. I just haven't pounding. Zooted. You, you had to say so, stay somewhat. They're just sober. pounding on the boat. Thank you for the boat guy for bringing up boats. I see Dylan. I follow Dylan on Fine Friends ever since like Las Vegas and stuff, and like Dylan is just like on a boat like every weekend, and it's just weird because I haven't been on a boat on Lake Austin this summer, David. You know what's funny? I've been invited by listeners more often than I have Dylan. It's messed up. To go on a boat. It's messed up. So, okay, I'm supposed to show up to um, a boat that's being, you know, operated by one of Britney's friends. Like, hey, by the way, I brought my... What's his my, name? My boys. Yes. Is it Captain Stabbing? Dude, 
Brittany, like eighty percent of her friends have boats. It's really obnoxious. Eighty percent. I mean, they it's all weird that have you boats. you you've created a divide between your new friends with boats and your old friends who you just not work with. You guys would just embarrass me if I took you out on the boat, though. I've seen y'all out. Yeah, there. because we'd actually be doing dope shit, and you'd be sitting there like, and they'd be like, "Oh, this guy, this guy doesn't do sick like, pencils man, or side bangers. Dylan brought his buddy Dave on the boat, and he just did a bunch of pencils. Like it was really weird. Yeah. So he just your stock might go up with if the boat friends if like we're around. Look, I would love to go on a boat with you, with you idiots, but I know it's not my boat. I can't invite. I just can't. I can't send out the invites. You know what I mean? All right, man. Maybe we should get a company boat. Sally's brother went on a boat because you know how we we lived next to the public boat launch, and Sally's brother went on a boat, and he asked if he could park in our parking. So we nicely said yes. While he was on the boat, I texted him and said, "Hey, man, would love for you to come up and have a beer after. Stop up." He didn't do it. Dude, he calls when he gets off the boat and he was like, hey, like, do you guys have like something you need to tell me or can I just like leave? He thought we were like going to tell him that we were pregnant or something. And I was like, no, man, I just wanted to have a beer with you. So uh, I guess I don't need to make that offer anymore. What's his deal? Like, it was just like, what? Like, I'm just trying to have a beer with you, my well, man. He was, better, out, Harry. he was just out with the boys on the boat. Yeah, I'm going to have to punk Harry next time. I he didn't want to walk up all those stairs. Sorry he didn't invite y'all, man. That was cool. It's not cool, actually. I just play golf now. I don't go on boats. Apparently. Why do you hate us on the weekends? I don't. But y'all got to be a little more active early in the week if you want to get a tea time. How did Dave's Little Whiskey Girl let you play golf Saturday after playing all that Michigan golf? Because she's out of town this weekend, which means daddy's on his own schedule. Is she, she taking the little man? No. Nah. Oh. Nah. You're just hanging out Do I home? still need to locate a babysitter for the round of golf I'm playing on Saturday? Yes, I do. Do you leave him with me? Okay. Well, thank mom. you. Thank you for offering. That actually made my life a lot easier. Actually, never mind. Don't How much you? What's your rate? Four hundred dollars an hour. I, honestly, I might pay that if it, if it comes down to it. Hey, you can intro me whenever you want. I am quite ready. Mister Decentralized himself, De Shivery, ladies and gentlemen. So I got this mug that yeah. I love dearly. One of our listeners was very kind and very generous to send it to me, and I use it pretty much every day. He's trying to get out in front of it. Why am I bringing this up? You? Ask? I think he's trying to get behind it. Why am I bringing this up? Um, if anybody else wants to send me a mug, I will happily use it on the, you can see it on the YouTubes, you know, it could be like a thing. I'll just rotate mugs that our listeners have sent in. You know, That's cheap. one of the more pathetic things. You're the Tim got. Taylor of mugs. It's just, yeah. Like, you know, I, it could be like a thing like, oh, what mug, which mug is he using this week? Is it uh, the one with the, the moose antlers? Or is it the, the ass? He's running the ass one back again. Maybe it's like a. Uh, uh, something really cool I don't even know about yet. This yeah. might be a cool bit if you hadn't uh, requested it. Yeah. I'm just, I want to, I'm just, now it's just crap. Seed. I'm crap. planting a seed. And we're going to see if it grows. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I will, this I'll, is like giving yourself your own nickname. I'm glad it it's continue exactly using what it this is. one. <laughs> <laughs> like J Bone did. Yeah. Yeah. He, he that actually did. somehow panned out better than most. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm J Although I believe, this. I believe that one John Duda takes some credit for Correct. dubbing him uh j bone correct <laughs> which <laughs> it's really funny to think about those two interacting because i forgot that i mean their time did overlap in our previous employer but it's it's funny because they're just very they're very different very unique but both 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 very likable no, dude it was so wrong the good thing about the good thing about uh <laughs> Like the only good thing that I can take from, uh, you know, people getting like a, oh, and Duda getting like a way before he should have was that Duda didn't spend enough time with J-Bone to get fully annoyed by J-Bone because there would have been a moment where what's that mean? Duda, yeah, where, <laughs> where J-Bone was talking and, and Duda finally just goes, oh my God, Jared, do you ever shut up, man? And just gets pissed. No, Jared's not an over talker. No, but he will, he will, um, sprinkle you. With information regarding things that you don't need information on. He's the um, unnecessary information salt bay. Mm -hmm. He just walks by. He walks by your office, dips his head in, gets you a little. Yep. I was in a dolphin style. That is, that is a, f a fact that he did drop on occasion. I stood up early so I could get more screen time. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a J-bone thing, man. Anyway, um, if you need the address, just let me know. You can just Google it. I'll hook you up. Hey, and if you're listening and you won the, our charcuterie live stream, you got you got some stuff headed your way, pal. So just don't you worry. 
And it's going to be good. It's some stuff that, I mean, it went like that from our store. And I hope you play golf and need golf tees. A lot of them, my guy. Or a girl. It's a guy. Oh. Very cool. Hey, we got a cool new thermos. That thermos sucks, man. No, no, no. it doesn't. No, it's good. No, it stinks. <laughs> it's a good thermos. Yeah. You gonna just you gonna showcase it? It's from Bailey shit. Farms Golf Course. Um, they had uh, we had a thing where the loser of our golf little golf tournament that we had had to buy the winner a, a shirt thermos. from the golf store. We walked into the golf store. They could not have less rowbacky shirts. Than they had. So they were very mad. It was like the ugliest shirts I've ever seen. And I didn't lose. I got second place, proudly second place. Uh, the fourth place person got very lucky because they it, the shirts were so ugly that the first place person just said, yeah, never mind. We're not doing <laughs> wow. this anymore. It doesn't matter to me. It's not good. Yeah, it's not good. Not good. But I kind of like doing that for a little like, you know, foursome out there. Loser has to go buy something in the pro shop for are you the, uh, about, the winner. Are you talking about ballet? Or Bail Farm? What is it? Bailey? Bailey Farms. Oh, dude, that's a good track. I hate the word track so much. I do too, man. I hate it, man. If the second I hear someone say that, like if I'm talking, if I'm at like a, let's just say I'm at like a engagement party and I hear some dude drop the word track, I'm like, oh, I know exactly how the next 20 minutes of my, my life like, are going to go. It's like a movie enthusiast calling it a film. Yeah. Yeah. Your friends that have the boats. They they say track. Yeah. Loudly. For sure. Loudly it engages. No, they don't. don't get me wrong. Yes, they do. The people that say track are my people, but I don't like the word track. How is it? It's the overused. How is it? It's it's pretty baked out. God damn it. Shout out to the greenskeeper there. Who absolutely fucked us on number two. Oh, Jeez. Gross. You have to pay extra. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Did you report that? It's on the second hole. <laughs> Told him, dude. Yeah, he did it in the, on the two hole. Yeah. Wow. Jeez. <laughs> Fortuitous. Come on, man. A sign of things. What kind to... of program is this? Dude, he put the pin at the top of this uh, this hill and everything was just rolling off. Uh, it's it's tough. tough, man. He was watching us and I I was he I could see him watching us through the woods. And so He's I didn't laughing. I didn't agree to, I didn't agree just like, dude, what is going on? Like, <laughs> you gotta true. be kidding. He's like, I got he was, wait, he was just watching? Yeah. That's truly diabolical, mate. <laughs> <laughs> he's laughing at you idiots you couldn't pull man like dude i paid good you, i assume it's an expensive course i don't know if it, it wasn't was. crazy i think about 75 dollars. wow must be nice yeah uh it turns out that if you don't live in austin and you live in other places in the country you're not faced with paying way too much for shitty courses it's crazy yeah. how that works uh-huh whitefish lake muni was like i think it was like 45 dollars, and it was Light years ahead of any municipal course in Central Texas. Austin public courses are truly dog shit. How would you know? You like only play country clubs with like your boat friends. I, I don't. I don't play any country and clubs. Do, and let me get I'm out in front guys. of it. Let me get out in front of it. Well, yeah, I, I do only play golf now at exclusive ranch and golf clubs with Dude Perfect. But. I'm not opposed to playing Kaiser if a listener wants to have me out and cover my greens fee and cart fee. If the dude perfect guys I... auctioned off at that tea time, how, what, like how much would they have gotten for There's... Dave's tea time with them? Five grand minimum. No, yeah, that's a starting minimum. Point. That's a starting. I bid. think you start five grand. The fact that they had multiple members of that of Driftwood bring their kids out to like one of the comfort stations to greet them, like surprise them. Uh, there's at least 10 dudes right there who are all balling that were like, would absolutely do it. Something I don't think you talked about was that like, and this is to no surprise to like, it's no surprise to anyone that this was the case, but that they were just mad respectful of like the cart girls and stuff, you know? Is that true? They said, please. And thank you. They weren't. Okay. I don't think there were cart girls. There were, there's dude, there's like four comfort stations. Yeah, you do, don't need one. This is, this is a bougie question. Do, do golf courses with comfort stations need cart girls? I don't think they do. Comfort stations are sick. So we have stations where you're comfortable, right? So we, we linked up on fit 16 and played the entire group. 11 people played like a scramble. We switched it up and, uh, I had a, I was the last one to putt and it was like a, a an eight footer for, for birdie. We needed you it, it. Didn't you? And uh, the guy, the one who's going to space, uh, Kobe, he goes, oh, he's been nails all day with the putter. Like really true? gassing me up. 
and if I, I'll be damned if I didn't just wipe that son of a bitch. <laughs> never had, never. It was like one of the ones where like immediately everybody turns and walks off the green. They weren't going to see it through. It was like, yeah, it's not. Anything. Can you imagine if you nailed it from deep and like you actually got like a I live reaction from the dude perfect had guy? Thought I swear to God, they, I've been thinking about. How did that. they celebrate? Like long putts made, a birdie here and there. Is it not full like, Stoke floundered? Did they run across the green? Did they go Stoke face on you? There was some Stoke face. I was providing some Stoke face. Oh. Have remember we, when you made your 12 footer at your bachelor party? It was about 75, but yeah, I remember. I wish there was video evidence of you actually making that because a, a lot of people are wondering if you did. That was such a sick moment. One of the greatest athletic achievements of my life. Really? Hitting a 12 foot putt? It was like 95 feet. What was the make percentage on that if it was on a uh, PGA Tour event? 1.2. I would say 40%. Mm-hmm. No. The hole was huge. It, it was a regulation size hole. They honestly. should make the final hole like double the size, so it's more <laughs> spicy on on the final hole. <laughs> you I should pitch know, that man. to the sharks, dude. I think I'm gonna pitch. Ooh, I think I'm gonna pitch that just to you know Jay Monahan and see if he goes for it. They they need some bits right now. I played a all uh, this live tour stuff. I played around at Lost Creek one time. This is years ago, and how'd were, you find it? If it was, <laughs> uh, there were <laughs> the green was being rehabbed. So they Damn. had a makeshift green. They doing okay now? It had a makeshift green out on the fairway. And to um, make up for the lack of smooth rolling of the fairway, they made the hole, and I'm not kidding, like 18 inches. Love that. And it was like, this is this is the dumbest thing I've ever That's seen. That's great. That's a good idea. Yeah. I think I think I missed a putt from like 15 feet. It was really embarrassing. You can't do – you got to throw it at the hole and, <laughs> and hope it falls. Like, it's impossible to miss this hole, but I still somehow did. It was pretty funny. I have a major announcement. We announced this on Monday, but I'm going to reiterate it today. New YouTube channel. Go subscribe to it. If you go to the Watch Media YouTube channel, you can see it right there. Um, but yeah, we're putting up all our episodes on a new channel. Go subscribe. It'll be much more, you know, targeted stuff to you. Uh, but yeah, we're still going to be uploading stuff to the Watch Media one. But just go search Circling Back Podcast. Go subscribe to the new channel. Should I've been be told this new strategy is a game changer. Yeah, it's Randy. changing the game. Randy said this is going to be the thing that it, we're going to hit the jet stream, the algorithm jet stream. Secondly, we're doing voicemails tomorrow on Patreon. Call in 888-618-4422. Again, 888-618-4422. Get in, get out, be tactical. Uh, we did worst of yesterday. It was good. It was a great episode. Uh, we might be doing something new going forward. We have an idea that we've been floating around, so please keep an eye out on that. On patreon.com slash circling back podcast. What's that, man? There's a lot going on between Will and whatever they're doing out there. Hello, sharks. Okay. Just uh, tell them then. Just, just tell go them to patreon.com slash circling back podcast and go leave a review. Someone left a review on Scaries the other day. Guess what the headline of the review was? Just said bad podcaster. Oh, come on. Dude, that's my that, job. I love that Will brings out the bad ones. Yeah. Come on. Well, like, dude, what if I what if I went to someone's job and I was just like uh bad CPA? Yeah, like that's unnecessary. Report that person to the better business bureau. Come on. Yeah. What what did they say? I don't remember. Wasn't yeah, you have no, to but you do. I do. Yeah. <laughs> How many <laughs> stars was it? One. Yeesh. Yeah, not good. So go leave reviews for every Wash Media property. Does a one star hit less bad than like if they hit you with a two? Yeah, it does. Like one, it's like, oh, this person has an axe to grind. Two, it's like, oh, they actually thought this. Through. Yeah, I think one of them gave me like three stars one time. And I was like, that hurts a lot. Like they, yeah. they went through the process of being like, you know, it's not like the worst I've ever heard, but it's definitely not something I want to listen to going yeah, forward. Yeah, I'm either a one or a five raider. That's, no, that's no, fucked there's up. no in between. It's fucked up to be a one raider. No, it's not. Just don't do it. If your shit stinks, I'll give you one star. Don't. When's the last time you went somewhere and you left like a one star review? Oh, I don't. I don't leave reviews. But if I were, I would. I would go. I would be on a. It's like a binary scale for me. I went to. A, I went. This is gonna. This is gonna. It's either sticky or mid. That's good. That's good. Randy. Sticky, mid, or loud? Are you looking at Randy or are you buzzing the lens? I'm looking at Randy. Okay. Well, I wanted some kind of reaction out of him. I got nothing. Well, that doesn't. That doesn't bode well for your joke. I know. Because <laughs> he's easy to please. Oh, how do you know? Okay, comedically. Huh? Twenty oh. minutes in. Okay, let's hear from our friends over at Everlane. 
When you stick by what's important to your very core, it shows in everything you do. And Everlane is committed to doing the right thing from start to finish. And that means partnering with responsible factories and ensuring every piece of clothing looks and feels great for years to come. It's actually insane that I'm not wearing any Everlane today. As yesterday, I had on two, yes, I said two pieces of Everlane clothing. And most days these days, I have at least one on me. Because I keep that thing on me. Dave, on the other boys, hand. Boys, boys, boys. Dude, I don't want to sound like Alyssa right now, but you look like an absolute snack in that polo. She's never said that about me. It's, it's not like- going well. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. I love this polo. I've got, the, I've got a white one. I got this navy blue one that I'm wearing. I've been complimented on this. It's a good polo. Thank you, Will, for saying that. Thank you to my wife for not saying that. Everlane makes awesome clothes. Awesome apparel, awesome accessories, all with a dedication to finding socially responsible factories through third-party audits with certified partners. These things are timeless, and that's what I like about them. I've been shopping with Everlane for about 10 years now, uh, whether it's been sweaters that I've gotten from them that are much more reasonably priced than the other ones because they're transparent, and that's what I like to see. Or just like right now, my staple t-shirts are all Everlane. They've replaced my old staple t-shirts, and guess what? I'm getting these for about half the price, and I love it. Your boy is feasting right now. They've got everything from pants, sweaters, sweatshirts. I need fall to hit. I need it to be less than 100 degrees outside so I can start wearing my sweatshirts. I've got this like hoodie thing that doesn't even have a hoodie on it, but it's got the marsupial pocket. Ooh, Ooh that's unique. I'm I have that different. one too. I think we got the same one. We're going we're gonna to have to coordinate. Yeah, I, I, I copped it. and I wore it, over, I wore it over to Dylan's house one night and he goes, oh man, I should have got that. Yeah, I should have got that. And then I looked at you, but you had the shoes and I was like, I should have got those. No, those shoes are clean as hell. They are. They are. This is, I I keep forgetting this is an ad read because I could just talk about the random stuff that we got from Everlane for a really long time. I'm going to eat the whole thing. (laughs) You know, you have the right to know the actual price of making your clothes and Everlane shows you the cost behind the production of every piece from materials to labor to duties to transport. With Everlane, you get designer quality without the designer markup. Uh, they strive to use the best materials with the least impact on the planet, so they prioritize, so prioritize sourcing raw materials from transparent, recycled, organic, and renewable resources. If you want to do things differently from your core to your closet, shop Everlane. Go to everlane.com slash steam and sign up for 10% off your first order. That's 10% off your first order. When you go to everlane.com slash steam and sign up, Everlane, helping people live their best lives with the least impact on the planet. Uh, hey, one star reviewer, I want you to review that call to action I just did and tell me I'm a bad podcast. Yeah, you dumbass. You stupid idiot. <laughs> you <laughs> stupid, stupid ass. idiot. Stupid ass. How's your Everlane read, dork? But he feels real dumb now. Yep. I think it was a girl. I think it said like like Molly, plant lady. Like cool. Oh yeah. Plants are so cool. They're, they're fine. I'm yeah, sorry. actually, plants are kind of sick. <laughs> I don't need to go up plants. I've been yeah, experimenting don't... with plant medicine. <laughs> really? Like weed? St- like the st- Aloe vera for sunburns, things of that nature. Ayahuasca? You hear about this stuff? Stop trying to sound cool and hip. Yeah. Is that a word, man? Chill out, Aaron Rodgers. Are you going through a midlife crisis, too? I'm going to come here with a man bun one day. Yeah, so we actually we actually uh, are going to do something a little different today. We're all going to sit around, and we're just going to play the Aaron Rodgers, Aubrey Marcus podcast for the next two and a half hours and and do a live commentary on I'm it. I'm 30 minutes in. I'm gonna I will listen, finish it. I'm going to listen to the whole thing. It's If you are a football fan... What, Randy? What, Randy? I don't like when speak, he's... Speak your mind, Randy. Tell us. You got something to say? You know what, Dylan? I think I'm going to read the whole thing. <laughs> Turn your mic off. Uh, anyway. You just got dunked on by Randy. Oh, my God. It's a good pod, I'm, I'm sure. I'm gonna, I'm 30 minutes in thus far. I'm, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Aubrey Marcus, of course, the Onnit founder. I did a pod with him, famously. At any point, do they try to remove each other's heads from each other's asses during yeah. that podcast? No, they're no, they're talking into microphones. Oh, I'm so glad that Aaron Rodgers has taken this turn so that everyone else in the world can like dislike him and make fun of him You're, as much dude, as I have for he years. Stinks, he's man. he's actually coming across quite likable. Thirty minutes in, okay, yeah, you just keep listening. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, you just don't, stay with don't, it. Don't stand Aaron Rodgers, dude. I'm not what are you doing? I do, you're, trying, I, you're trying to draw a line in the sand right now, and I don't like that. I, look, I, I like that the guy is out there being Aaron Rodgers. He's not. He's I being like He's being the product that the ayahuasca created from the original version of Aaron Rodgers. Aaron 2.0 stinks. Just one Super Bowl, by the way. Just one. Yeah, just one. Just one. Oh, pretty good quarterback. Just one. Yeah. Two MVPs. Just one. Back to just back. One Super Bowl. So? Cool. What, dude? 
You're only you're only as good as your team, man. Yeah, you ever think about that? I'd rather think have I'd the most valuable here. team. I didn't think I'd be here riding for the Packers quarterback, but I'm just saying the fact that he's pretty I, good. I like that he's doing this turn because it's give. First of all, check out too much dip, Dylan. As you stated, you're also on that podcast. Thank you. Uh, we 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 get into this a little bit. I, I like that there's characters in the NFL. Okay, I just like that. Whatever, dude. Okay. No, no shit. I don't. I'm just kidding. I'll, I might listen to our podcast. <laughs> to the, the Aubrey Marcus one. Listen, don't listen. I'll listen for you. It's okay. amazing. Okay. It's amazing that somehow Russell Wilson is still more cringe than Aaron Rodgers right now. Oh my god! What's it's really hard deal? to do. Well, like, Dylan, he is. Aaron, Russell Wilson has so much real estate in Dylan's dome. <laughs> He's Every day you a, come in here. He is such a boner. You're like, did you see how he dropped back? That three-step drop? Like, it's always something. He, something you nitpick. The way everything. he throws even irritates me. <laughs> like, really, it does. What if you guys walked in one day and, and you just walked into the studio to come, like, you? For, let's say you forgot something here, your wallet. You forgot it on your desk. And I'm in this studio. Nothing's on. And I'm just talking into the mic. And I'm like, all right, we're back. All right, we're back. All right, we're back. Just practicing your intro. circling back, po- circling That's back rough. podcast. That's right. All right, we're back. Dude, everyone's dunking. How high were you when you did that video last night? Yeah, how many early birds did you? That, yeah, that little. Did you hit your weed pen last audio night? Medium. I was one martini and two glasses of wine. In. What? What did you do last night? Uh, Bay had a stressful work day, so we we went to uh, Tiny Boxwoods for a little. I had a burger. Damn, what's and the I damage on that? I should have got that. What bet? Yes, it was bad. I know Tiny Box. The burger's works. 20 bucks. Yeah, that's a that's an expensive ass burger. Damn, dude. What's going on? Dinnerflation over here. This is pretty great. We were just blowing off a little steam, man. A mar- so you started out with a martini, then two glasses of wine. Is that why you look like a big bag of shit today? I had yeah. a glass of wine in Oh, that's why you're puffy as fuck right now. Dude, that video that or that audio recording last night, God, that was so funny. How many takes did you do? Just two. Just two takes. Well, I, I was gonna do one, but I forgot to stop it, so it just ran on. I want to. I want to be like, oh, this chuggy dumbass didn't know how to hit stop on his phone. If Twitter made it more apparent how to redu- how to do the voice tweets, I would do it more. But it's like it's hard for me to find. You know, it's annoying. What? It's, it's so easy. It's, it's not. My, it's not my eye zone. I'm doing right now. Uh, Elon, if you're listening and you end up acquiring Twitter, I I, I need to be able to do that in reply to a tweet. Yeah, totally agree, it's, man. There's been a number of times, mainly with your tweets, that I've wanted to just read them and just reply to your tweet. With <laughs> just saying it? Just reading yes, the tweet? Correct. That's a good idea. Yeah, but you good. can't do that's it. It's a good bit. I'm on, a heater right. I'm on a heater right now on Twitter. You can't deny Are it. Are you? I had a really good tweet earlier I'm today. On a let's, see how, let's see how, what kind of numbies Dude, I'm My doing. tweets about that space shit the other day, oh my God, I was just, just cackling to myself. Dave, do you see this? The void in space that would take... Over 752 million years to cross. Nothing we've done today has been on the rundown. No. Other than the Everlane read. Did you see can we my talk shit? About, can we talk about Titan the Turtle real quick? Did you see my shit though, Dave? No. You should have. I don't, I, dude, I barely see your tweets. You should have. It yeah, Dil- Dave awesome. has you muted. All I see is like Cat Pat, Landry, big content guy. I see Will. I see Will's lad bruv football tweets more than his tweets. People are writing me letters being like, dude, that was so funny. You changed my life. I've already gotten a few. Will, what do you got? You got Zo vibes on your uh, TL yet? Just showing up every day for no reason. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> like she's just dude, everywhere. Why dude? are you going out Zo vibes? She's right all now? over the timeline. She's I don't get mine. it. It's been months. She's every not day. On mine. Every day. Like what? Who are you? This is, this what is are gonna, you doing? Asking. I don't know. This is gonna create a stir. <laughs> Whatever. On the TL. Have you guys seen this thing about Titan the Turtle? <laughs> God, he's got that dog. He's in him. different. <laughs> he is different. Yeah, he was gashed by a bro- boat propeller, which sounds awful. I don't like the word gash. I don't want to get gashed. It sounds too violent. He had part of his flip front flipper bitten off by a shark, Ooh. and then he was attacked by a different shark. But he's back because he got that dog in him. He's missing a foot. What happened? Did, was he rehabbed? Did Joe Noah rehab him? Yeah, I think it was Joe. Yeah, they returned eight sur- sea turtles back to sea. Hell Actually, yeah. Dave, you and I, I think I think we might have a sea turtle expert on the podcast soon. Uh, is he doing it? I don't know. He, he, I kind of forgot to reach out because I went on vacation. Have you ever seen sea turtles have sex? Because I have at, a, at the zoo. So you're asking if we've ever seen turtles see before? 
I, I don't know if he's seed or not when I was watching. <laughs> but man, it's 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 a spectacle. How do they do it? Very slowly. Like do they like just slow deep thrusts and he makes they make this sound that's like <laughs> Can I ask a dumb question? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This is a very dumb question. They, they do it in the water? Yeah, that's my question. They do it doggy style. In the water or no? Okay, to be fair, I don't know if it, this was a sea turtle, but it was it was a turtle that was this big. I know there are, you know, different kinds, like a tortoise and all that crazy shit. I don't know the exact species, but it was a turtle this big having sex with another another turtle this big on land at the San Diego Zoo, and he was just getting after it very slowly, and like he was making love to this other turtle. If you want details, I'll tell you offline. Okay. I'll recreate the sound that he was making, but not make the sound. No, that's what people tuned in for. It was like a <gasps> God, and then ten seconds later, that sounded like uh, <gasps> that was Sally. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's why is that? Uh, why is that young Forrest sitting on his porch when the uh, see the principal walks out? Wait, does that does that video? Is it going to play a sound if we click on it? No, probably not. It's. <laughs> Why do we need to play right. the sound when Dylan absolutely crushed it? You want to hear it again? Here, okay. What if what if the turtle, what if the turtle's name is Elizabeth Holmes and it's having <laughs> sex with the other turtle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> I'm done. That was good. Oh. Um, so this has nothing to do with the turtle, but. I did say I was going to monitor for content. Yeah. And as you know, Alex Jones is on trial, um, civil trial for uh, defamation, Sandy Hook stuff, real bad. Um, and this just, there's people that are there and they're transcribing it and doing it through Twitter. And uh, this tweet says, Alex Jones has asked if InfoWars has been saying the judge is tied to pedophiles and CPS. He says no. Sandy Hook parent lawyers show a clip saying that with the judge animated on fire. So it's a clip showing that he did say that. Yeah. And then in the animation, the judge was a flame animated on fire. And uh, Jones clarifies the judge is the fire burning Lady Liberty. The judge is consuming freedom. So he's having to like explain this in front of the judge. <laughs> See, this is, I'm like worried that one day we're going to get indicted for something and they're going to have us explain like, OK, so why was. Dylan making uh, sea turtle sex noises right. as a Elizabeth Because he's a Holmes. comedian. Right. Because he's a hilarious human. Right. Alex Jones, you can't just call people pedophiles <laughs> without any basis for it. No, no. He said he's linked to pedophiles, the judge. The judge is a, a woman, by the way. She. She's is linked, allegedly. Yeah. Think she's going to throw the book at him? Well, I thought about a can. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, come on the clink, say. All right, this is what this is what in my mind a turtle pairing sounds like. Oh my god, I love you so much, babe. <laughs> Why does a turtle smoke cigarettes? Yeah. Because he's got a smoking problem. <laughs> he's yeah, got a very deep voice. <laughs> what? That's weird, man. That's the noise he makes. Or she. All right. Here's mine. Hey, what okay. is the story with that turtle? Did it so, live? Yeah, he's good. All right, here's mine. This is if the sea turtle was Aziz Ansari. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Killed really? it. Killed it. Oh. Dude, shouts to Titan the turtle. Yeah, shouts to Titan, man. Did they give him a new flipper? I was thinking if the turtle was Christopher Walken, but I don't think I could even... I think we've done enough with it. I don't it. think I could even try can it. can only do so much with such yeah, content. But I think maybe we should just give it a shot. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to do it, man. How about you try it? All right, do I'm it. Not, you do know, it. I, as far as Christopher Walken goes, I'm no, 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 very no. much the worst one at it. Let me, give you, let me give you some parameters. It's as if the turtle was Christopher Walken, and this is like a, a one-night thing, and like Christopher Walken has to go back to New York City like the next day. So they're probably never going to see each other again. <laughs> Go ahead, Dylan. <laughs> oh, I I can't. I no, can't you can't. Do I actually. can't do it. Wait, why is it a one night stand? I don't know. He's a playboy. <laughs> the, the turtle's getting on a plane. Like, what's he's what's got a he's here? got a a movie to film yeah. in New York. He may not see this. Yeah, he was just in town for a night, but he matched with this person a week ago, just you know, to prepare the trip. 
They've been DMing. I got to get out of here. It's my last day. That's all I got. I got. Uh, uh, okay, that, that's uh, good. The punctuator. Uh, good. Uh, good stuff. Uh, yeah. Whew. That was good. I know that that took Ooh. it out of you. That took it out of you. It, yeah, it's Christopher walking is hard on me. I gotta like take a take a break. He's what? Yeah, that's the idea. Our new listeners are just so <laughs> ecstatic with the fact that they've subscribed to the show. They're like, "What? <laughs> What's is, this going like, on? is it like yeah. this every episode?" I'm, I'm gonna get ahead of this. I'm gonna get ahead. We're thirty five, thirty in. I'm gonna get ahead of this. That there will be no timestamps for today's episode. <laughs> I have no clue <clears throat> where turtle. we've gone or what we've done. I don't know what we're talking about anymore. What was the turtle's name again? Titan, dude. Titan. Titan. Must have been a big boy. Yeah. I mean, he survived two shark attacks and and getting gashed by a uh, propeller. You got to stop seeing gashed. You got gashed. I saw a video the other day of a lion when uh, it was like stalking a porcupine porcupine or whatever. Why? And like it was just walking up and like the porcupine was just, you know, like whatever, dude, you're not going to do anything. And like the lion was like, it had its like cute little lion paw, dangerous, but cute. And it was like kind of patting it, like just to see. And then it just like turned around and walked off. I was like, no, I don't want any of this. I'm not fucking with this. My yeah. re- my reels algorithm is dialed right now. What would the lion say if like maybe it was like no, a sassy one? We're not. I'm d- no. You don't want to do sassy lion? No. Porcupine. I want to talk about the the lizard. <laughs> That's sharp. I feel like porcupines took everything way too far. Like they don't need to be that spiky. They're kind of sick. They're kind of unapproachable though. Like, what if I'm just trying to befriend a they porcupine? Literally, how do they mate? With, how do they mate with each other? Oh, you can put those spines down, right? I don't know. The quills, not the spines. Oh, quills. baby, I can't get my spines down. My quills down. It's spines. Quills are stuck. Yeah. You can lay them down. They gotta have sex. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> they got to. Oh, sure. Well, yeah. Or else, well, you know, there are some animals that can't reproduce on their own. You familiar with this? I think porcupines have sex. Pretty, I'm pretty confident in saying that. I think I saw a pregnant goat when I was in Michigan. <laughs> really? Yeah. Is that the one? That it was either really mouth? fat. Yeah. It was either really fat or pregnant. We couldn't tell. <laughs> it was Cristiano Ronaldo. I didn't. I was going to ask, and I was going to congratulate him, ask its due date, but I didn't want to offend the, the goat. So I was like, no, I'm just going to not talk about it. Not talk about the elephant in the room. Sorry, a, not fat shaming the goat, goat by any means. Not not fat shaming the goat. Where were you when you saw that goat? Were you at uh, we were at a farm? Bailey Farms. We were at P- Pond Hill Farm. Oh, uh, beautiful track. Beautiful track. Yeah, yeah. Playing fast right now though. Well, they only have a disc <laughs> golf course out there. They don't have a. They don't have an actual. They don't have ball a ball golf. Ball golf. Yeah, they don't have glaring lack of ball golf options. <laughs> but their 18th hole is 24 inches wide. <laughs> wow. Yeah, wow. it's pretty cool. That's awesome. Yeah. You missed the putt. So my new thing has been telling people that the reason I don't have a hole in one, I actually did this to the interns the other day when they asked me to explain golf to them. Um, but I've been saying that uh, that I probably won't get one because my ball flight is just too high and the, it has less of a chance of rolling in because I just you know put darts directly into the green. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I don't have a hole in one. Yeah, it makes sense. I right, really so, want one. Since we're just completely tanking the show and deviating from Yeah, anything, at this point, I've deleted say, anything that's actually on the rundown. Can I say that there's a... T- Twitter right now is having fun with uh, with this. Um, so, you know, LeBron has two sons. They both play basketball. It says, Bryce James is now six foot six. Who will be the best player out of the two La Sperms? <laughs> La Sperms. <laughs> Come on. Why why did why couldn't they just say his two sons? Why why do they have to trick it up? We could have written that headline. Could have called called them two princes. Oh, because King James. Mhm. Yeah. Also anyway. the spin doctors. What about this lizard? Lizzo? Oh, you're talking about you're so you actually want to do something from the I, rundown. I do. I you know, I don't know how great it'll be, but I I do think it's cool. Explain. Do tell. Are you talking about that paleontologists discovered fossils of a 30-foot prehistoric marine lizard in North Texas? Oh, Randy. Oh, oh, quick big, Mr. It. Big Producer Randy knows how to put images on the quick screen now. Quick with it. That's cool. Mr. Big Boss Man over there. The Mosasaur. It was a top marine predator 80 million years ago, Dylan, when most of the area was still underwater. Uh, your your fa- like I'm not just making a mosting joke. Isn't your favorite dinosaur a Mosasaurus? Uh Mine, no. At one point, Parks' favorite dinosaur was the Mosasaurus. 
which is, you know, have you seen the Jurassic World when the big one comes out of the water and eats the shark? Sure. That's the Mosasaurus. I've They're seen Jurassic. Sick. I've seen Jurassic World, the first Jurassic World. I've not that, seen any subsequent ones. That's what I'm referring. To. I was also very stoned when I see, saw it, so I don't really remember what happened during the movie. The person I saw it with fell asleep. Uh, it's a good movie, but yeah, that's the Mosasaurus, the big one in the water. I got bad news. The Mosasaurus not a dinosaur. It's actually a separate reptile. Wow. Okay, but it's a Mosasaurus. So I mean, I just dinosaurs. I hate to correct parts like that. Did y'all see this Loch Ness but... news? <laughs> Sorry. See this Loch Ness monster news? Is this a joke or no? Oh uh, uh, yeah, I, Lad Bible really got a lot. La Lad Bible, yeah. Stop Stop talk about on my Twitter feed that was trending on the right side of my Twitter feed for like seven days. Once I realized that Lad Bible was the source, I started having question marks. But I do, I do enjoy the uh, constant back and forth regarding the Loch Ness monster or Nessie, as they call it. Mm -hmm. I think all it said was like. Oh, you know, it is possible that, that this thing did exist. And then, like, the, the headline was so disingenuous. It was so disingenuous. Like, who's that? Somebody named Richard Petz is calling So me. Dick Petz is calling Dick you right now. <laughs> you got to answer. When Dick Petz calls, you got to answer Texas. him. Come on. Maybe it's uh, Cool Adam. Could be. Sorry, but yes, Will, I did see that, and I did, when you were out of town last week, I almost threw it on there, and then I saw the only outlet that was really talking about it was Lad Bible, and not that there's anything wrong with Lad Bible, but, you know, I thought it would be a big, if it was that big of a deal, I would, if there were multiple outlets and there wasn't, so. I'm more of a bro Bible guy, shout out to Brandon. That's facts. Did you ever meet meet him? Did you hang out with him at the Dead Show? No, we should have. We should have. It's on y'all. I still can, I, I was pumping gas today wearing a Grateful Dead shirt. And the girl behind me pulled up and had a Grateful Dead shirt on. And I'm still rattled by it. What are the chances that we both have tie-dyed shirts on? What are the chances? Um, it's pretty popular. I don't man. know, man. What are the chances? One in uh, 340. I don't know. Hey, this lizard's pretty sick, man. Callie and uh, Brando doing a pod out there. What's going on? I would listen to that pod. I would too. It would be Brando like asking like her like what she thinks about like Steph's legacy versus someone else's legacy. It'd be and very then she would cold start bringing pizza. up like Dallas Stars stuff. She's a big Stars fan. Yeah, this lizard's tight. I mean, uh, are we operating under the the idea that big archaeology isn't planting these bones everywhere? Is that what we're operating well, under? Well, you know, an amateur enthusiast actually told the Dallas Morning News that he first came across a piece of the creature's spine as he hiked near the river. Really? He just what was hiking? Like, oh my god! What was this guy an enthusiast of? Amateurs. Just amateurs. Amateurs. Okay, so we know what his are they verified? That's what we're trying to do. <laughs> 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 right amateur enthusiast this is the this looks just like a mosasaurus i mean it's the same creature i don't know why the is a mosasaur it's a mosasaur is there a, a difference mosasaurus. between a mosasaur and a mosasaurus that's what i'm trying to figure out man mosasaurus <laughs> i think it's the same it looks the same man I don't know how to spell it. So they used to call Dave uh, the Mostosaurus. The Mostosaurus. A that, joke that's been made multiple times in the office. You get a lot of I'm trouble. Just running it back. I had a lot of trouble getting past second base. We told out. you to say, to save your best material for the show. Uh, Dave, I, I'm I don't have much, man. <laughs> <laughs> Did they cut that Red Sox dude who didn't chase after the ball that went over his head? What's his deal? Who? Okay. It was like two weeks ago. This is Colder Stove. Is his name and what is the connection to what we're doing? I forget. I had a connection. My brain went there somehow. People are going to think we were in, in, inebriated or somehow impaired for this one. Nah, just the internet's <laughs> dead today. Nah, nah, <clears throat> nah. The internet's <laughs> fucking dead. Nah, nah, nah. Described as the great white shark or killer whale of prehistoric times, it was a top marine predator that fed on turtles sharks and even other mosasaurs imagine a 30-foot swimming point nose komodo dragon with flippers and a forked tail this sounds pretty terrifying it's fucking scary yeah you think you could take that no mr I don't think animal so. beat up guy no i don't think so. that's man. you no i don't be i love animals no you don't i would never beat anything up unless it threatened me or my family 
This thing would eat me so fast. Oh yeah, you'd be you'd be absolute toast. Man. So fast. It kind of looks like it has the mouth of that alligator thing that fell on uh, Captain Hook and Hook. I can't believe Flounder. Kind of a got, weird. Was almost scene. eaten by that alligator. Well, yeah, it's a clock fell on him. He didn't actually get eaten by. But it was like alive. A, yeah, like what? So, where did he go? Dave, like, it didn't like have a di- a working digestive tract, correct? If Flounder fell in that water, he would be. He was not going to get out. Oh, no. he might get out, but he might just not have like a leg or an arm or a hand. He stumbled a little bit. If man. you haven't, Dude, <laughs> nobody knows what you're talking about. Yes, see what Tell the some people do because you, of, you did post it on your TL. Dave on Twitter at D Carter Ralph on Twitter. He's got this this friend of his named Flounder. He's a man of size. By okay, his, by not, his by his own admission. You don't have to lead with that. I'm trying to paint a picture here. Okay, he's also an avid fisherman. He was fishing. I don't know where he was, Florida probably, and they're on like a little little trolling boat. And there's an alligator in the water. Was it a croc or a gator? That's weird. I usually got on my ratioing boat. I think it was a gator. And yeah. the video starts off and, and his play's butt. going. Oh, we could just play it. Hell yeah. Look at Randy producing his little D off today. Yeah, Randy's earning the money today. Do we have the audio too? He says, baby, you ain't never had anything this sweet. Yeah. Talk about that's nice inflection right there. That's how he says it. And then his buddy pulls right up to this gator and just to like, you know, joke with them a little bit. And he and he stumbles. A little bit. Like right here. The gator snaps at him. No, nah, dude. I never had any I had never had any concerns that he would get away from it. Because Flounder's agile. Dude, he's he's light on his feet. He, dude, shockingly good f- footwork. He's Flounder. light on his that, feet. He was nice. Although not it. actually not shocking. We saw him after Dylan made that twelve footer at his bachelor party. Yeah. Run across the green. His shirt says fatties on the fly. <laughs> Follow him at Flounder on the Fly on Instagram. Very photogenic. Hey. Hey, before we get into our next segment that we don't know what it is yet, <laughs> let's hear from our friends over at Athletic Greens. I actually got a, a new shipment of Athletic Greens in the mail the other day. Very happy with this. Uh, has one of the most aesthetically pleasing logos I've ever seen on a sponsor of ours. Uh, but our next pro- partner has a product that I use literally every day. I started out taking AG1 just because I don't feel like I have enough healthy stuff going into my body. I treat my body like trash most times. I'm trying to be on uh, my health grind, though. So Sally started taking this. She actually got her shipment before me and she started doing it every day. And she was like, I absolutely love this stuff. So when my shipment came in, I had to go all in. I've been doing it now for two weeks. Uh, I can't wait to do it more. I love it though. Uh, It it doesn't taste like it's some super healthy, ridiculous thing. It's got this mild tropical taste that I actually look forward to every morning. I've had similar products or, you know, similar that try to do the same thing that tasted just like I was eating, uh, drinking and eating grass clippings. Yeah. This is uh, actually enjoyable. Yeah, it's quite I had it nice. this morning. Yeah. I have it every morning, empty stomach. Helps me just, it, it lets me know like I'm going into the day. I got these uh, vitamins, nutrients all up in me. Let's go. Let's ride. Yeah. So if you're wondering what this stuff is, with one delicious scoop of AG1, you're absorbing 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help you start your day right. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, which I, you guys know, I said it this morning. I'm on a gut journey right now, hmm. trying to get my gut health back to normal. Uh, and your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, your recovery, focus, aging, all of those things, they benefit from this. And it's lifestyle friendly. So whether you eat keto, paleo, vegan, dairy free, gluten free, whatever it is, you can be doing this. It supports so many other things your mental clarity, your alertness, better sleep quality. Uh, I mean, a ton of people take this uh, as some kind of multivitamin because it's important to choose one high quality ingredient that your body will actually absorb. This stuff is the stuff, Dylan. You think I don't know that, man? You think I don't take it every morning? I know you do. I know you do. It's cheaper than getting all the different supplements yourself. And that in itself is enough to advocate for you getting it. Do not talk to me before I've had my AG1. Mm -mm. This is recommended by professional athletes, 7,000 five-star reviews. It's just, it's just different. Uh, I mean, even the founder, you created Athletic Greens after experiencing how difficult it was to create an optimal nutrition routine of your own. And I think we can all agree with that. Got to get rid of that like over-the-counter sketchy stuff that like, you know, has names that I'm not going to say right now because they're probably competitors in some way. You got to go with Athletic Greens, AG1, Mm -hmm. baby. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop in water, a cup of water every day. That's it. 
No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. And to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is go, go to athleticgreens.com slash circling. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash circling to take ownership of your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Dave, do you have a question for us? I do. I do, Will. Um, how early is too early to wake up and stay awake on like a work day? Let's say you set your alarm at 6.30 a.m. Let's say you get up and not, not even kid get up, like your dog gets you up, like mine did today at about 5.30. And I, my alarm was set for, I think, 6.45 this morning. And he needs to go outside. So I get up, turn off the alarm, let him out. He pee-pees, comes back in. He runs back in, gets on the bed, goes to sleep. Me, I'm thinking, I'm wide awake. I'm wide awake. I'm wide awake. And I'm like, uh, I could probably stay up and get a, get a jump start on the day. Maybe fill out the rundown. <laughs> So we can not, uh, so we can delete it. Not <laughs> no, seriously. I, and, uh, if that clock and, has a five in front and the first number is five, I'm getting back in bed. I yep. got back in bed and I, I'm kind of regretting it. Cause I went, I fell asleep. And when I woke up, when that alarm came a ringing, eh, didn't feel great. Felt like I needed some more sleep. And I was just like, man, I really, Really should have just stayed up, maybe popped open the lappy, answered some of the, you know, many emails that I'm sent. Many. I think I owe Landry an email. So I don't know, man. I'm just wondering, like, is it better? I think science will say, yeah, if you're up and you're, you know, just stay up. But I don't know. Do you have like a, a cutoff for that? I used 59. to do, Sally gets up at er, very early every day for work. It's caused me to just become a straight up morning person at this point so if, if it's if it's after 5 a.m i'm probably just gonna stay up unless i'm like so tired that i can go back to sleep but after 5 a.m i sometimes i just can't even go back to sleep yeah bay consistently sleeps um later than i do and so and she's also the light one of the lightest sleepers i've ever known so my mission it's like mission impossible every morning i get up I have to be as quiet as possible, just as you know, so I don't disturb her. I picture you doing the Kath Catherine Zeta Jones. That's what I do. Except we don't have lasers in our bedroom. I just have to like. It's not what I heard. You just have to avoid the swings. I just, you know, <laughs> there's, we don't have swings either, man. What do you think this is? You don't like, want to hit. You want to hit the and, chains. But she, like, I, she, she Chloe hears, and Lamar swing. She hears absolutely everything, and everything wakes her up. So I have to tiptoe out and then slowly shut the door and then tiptoe down the stairs. Let Stella out and do the whole thing. Do you tiptoe to the window and then to the wall? If I lived with the light sleeper, which Sally is not, uh, I would still be the no same loudness that I am now. You got to just deal with that. She points out noises I make that I didn't even know I was making. It's like, oh my god, what noises? <clears throat> Just like the way I shut the door downstairs. <laughs> the way I shut the door downstairs. She's like, why are you slamming? Like, I'm not You're slamming a loud breather, too. I'm not. Kind of are. Something we should talk about. Yeah, aren't you a mouth breather? I'm a normal breather. No. Are you kidding me? Get out of here. Anyway, it's 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 a tough scene at, in our house every morning. I think I, I thought about that, though. Like, all right, up at 530. I would have to be quiet because the baby's sleeping. But, like, I, I don't think I would go TV on. But I would pop open my lappy, and I think realistically, I would do like I would do some work for like thirty minutes, and then I would be tired, and then I'd be like, "Damn, I could go back to bed for like forty-five more minutes." That's probably how it would go. I, I wish I was get up early, guy. I really do. Six thirty is pretty early, man. See, I liked it before we had a kid because when I would get up early, I'd just start working and doing stuff, and I could pretty much like start my day. The second I got up at six, get a bunch of shit done and then not feel as bad about not doing anything in the afternoon. Now I got a kid like from 7 a.m. on, I'm in grind mode. That's what I don't like. So I stay in grind mode. Though. I'm in sicko mode most of the time. Really? Are you are you on parks when you're like, don't want to get him sick? I'll, I'll get him sick out. I've got the unfortunate setup that if I wanted to go into the kitchen and make coffee, like get an early start on breakfast, I can't do that. Because if I turn the light on, 
his door, Rhodes' door to his nursery, that light will go under the door and that will wake him up. Dude, player, how you not have a towel down there blocking that out? I don't know. I just don't. We got I got a towel down there that just sits there. I don't want it blocking the airflow. Dog. It's a very it's You're a, not gonna suffocate your son. I I hope not. That's the goal. If the if the if the area under the door is the only place where oxygen is getting in, you might need, you might have some other stuff to confront in that room. Like what, demons? Yeah. Fuck. He's more talking about just keeping it cool in there, Will. Freak. You don't get that much of a draft from under the door. Yeah, sure you do. No, you don't. Did yeah. y'all see that Barrett's dog tried to rip up the door skirt we have on this one? I had to replace it. Yeah. yeah. Shouts to Otis, though. Good dog. A fine pup. <laughs> yeah, so Dylan, uh, Barrett brought his dog, and um, he was doing retail therapy with Will. And uh, Brando left. Then Dylan left, and then I was just out there, and I was like, well, I can't just leave the dog out here. So I just sat up here for about 45 minutes, tried to have the lappy open, wasn't working with the dog, ended up just sitting on the couch with Otis, just hanging out, petting him. So it was a fun, it was a fun time. Great stuff. We bonded, posted a photo on Wash Media Instagram. That's my story. We should have led with that segment. I'm more of a Flotus guy. Okay. I like first ladies. Oh. Otis. Who's your favorite first lady? Uh, ooh. ooh. It's got to be Nancy Reagan. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> Why is that? <clears throat> she makes it extra sloppy for you. Oh, get out. What are you doing, man? What? What do you, She makes sloppy Joes? I don't understand. What? She, of course, um, a, a, an advocate of... Um, a lot of things. Of no Drug drugs. war? Yeah, no, yeah, not doing drugs. And you know, so how would you, you feel about you doing a uh, drunk what, what and high mind? voice memos? What of mind? Top of mind. Top. I don't understand. I don't understand. We're talking <laughs> top of mind or coming to mind. <laughs> I'm sorry to the Reagan people. Ooh. If you're listening. You guys hear that? I forgot we had another segment. It's time for this weekend in fun. The Reagan family's not listening to the show. I you never know. By Roback. You guys are familiar with Roback, right? No, what do they do? I'm going to Roback.com right now. Intern Reagan's not even listening to the show. <laughs> nah, he's like, fuck these nerds. <laughs> he's just living. Yeah, we were just a step for him. Head over to Roback. They got some absolute heat going on right now. They drop shit all the time. Hey, you it's know what it's nuts. about to be? You know what it's about to be? Football season. Couldn't get here soon it's enough. It's about to be hoodie season. And guess what? It's about to be performance polo outside season. Oh, that's right. It's kind of been like that all summer, but, you know, there's never a bad time to toss on a uh, game day polo. They have plenty of game day colors of your choosing. Plenty. Uh, uh yeah. Yeah. Also, their hoodies, they're like, they're like the stretchy kind of workout material hoodies. They're so great. Dude, I swear they I changed the material because they're softer than ever right now. They're getting soft. I swear. Yeah. Dude, they got some absolute, like, gas going on right now. This Use Palmetto one? Too. Are you serious? Space polos for Randy. All kinds of fun stuff on there, man. Take, Backer 20. Take me to your moisture wicking. Backer 20 will get you to... What? You heard him. off. Is that me in that photo? No, you, nah. You wish it was Nah, you your shoulders aren't that strong. I don't think they used any of mine. Yeah, your shoulders aren't that good. The photo Fuck shoot you. Them was Dude, so look funny. at my shoulders. My shoulders suck. Yeah, yeah your but I didn't tell you. Very mid. Yeah, but... It's kind of evident. You got better shoulders than me. Yeah, I know. Someone once said that my waist is wider than my uh, my shoulders. How'd that make That's you feel? That's tough. Honestly, it didn't make me feel that bad. Is that a one star review? If I had like a big beer belly or something, like I, I think I'd be like a little more offended by it. But like I think it's more just Not speaking. What's wrong that. with a big waist? I have I have terrible shoulders. They're, these things are tiny. Yeah, they're awful. They're not good. <laughs> Dylan, what are you doing this weekend? Oh man, thanks for asking. Oh. No, Dylan. Uh, Friday, I'm I'm wide open. No kids, nothing to do. If you guys want to link at some point, I will we gladly won't. link. Look, I I'd like to, and I'd like to sit here and entertain that, but we all know it's not going to happen. It just doesn't work. Let's make a plan and stick to it. No, we won't. Uh, Saturday, I will not be playing golf with Will because I wasn't invited. So I my Facts. Saturday afternoon will be open. Saturday night, I'm going to Leon Bridges. 
Catch mm. me up in the suite. Name five songs. Yeah, name. I love Leon Bridges. Don't put no. spot. River is one of them. It's oh, really yeah, good. man. Cool. I saw HBO mm. too. Texas Sun is a fantastic, probably my favorite at the moment. Leon Bridges joint. Uh, like I said, we'll be up in the suite. I'm not paying for it, so don't come at me about man, that. Man, dude. So wait, let's we'll talk about yeah, this. Yeah, I still haven't gotten You'll any invites to the suite. On, I was told uh, that like, oh, like we got this corporate Wednesday. suite. I, I still haven't gotten any invites to that either. Corporate suite. Boat guy, tiny boxwood on a random night guy. Bay's company. Sweet. They have they have huh. a suite. Okay. okay. We're using we're using it. Okay. Sounds like a pretty free situation there. Yeah, it will. Yeah, Damn, it's pretty dude. nice. So I'm going to Leon. It's funny. Dave and I actually had a friend who offered us tickets to Leon. We did. Yep. Someone that actually invited us and wanted to go with us. He and, invited me too. Oh, and I have, turned it have down a good time. Have tickets. He actually I okay. Yeah, I'm kind of bummed I can't go. Hey, can we do something Friday? Remember last like time we guys? saw Leon Bridges together? Yes, eight, David. It was ACL at like 4 30 in the I was afternoon. There. Whole squad was coughing on that gas. Your boy Stu just pulled out just a uh He's puffing on a hoot or what? Marijuana yeah. cigarette. Yeah, my boy Stu got us absolutely zooted on that hoot stick. And that was when <laughs> Leon was still performing in like a full suit and it was, it was like yeah. oh one God. degrees. Uh, Sally picked me up. Sally picked me up from that ACL because we had a, we, we did, I didn't really want to see anyone later that night. So I was like, yeah, just come pick me up at like seven. And she picks me up and I was just out of my mind stoned. I was like, yeah. we, I, sorry for that's, this. That, that might was, be the most uh, impaired I've been in public. Yeah. Maybe that shit was since so college stinky. or high yeah, school. Yeah. He keeps that loud on him. It was loud as fuck. It was so loud. I couldn't hear Leon. Yeah, not as bad as the time uh, we smoked a blunt before Dave Matthews at uh, Old Texas Stadium, and I have no recollection of any of the show. But um, cool. Also, not as high as the San Diego when we were watching Seinfeld in Will's room. Wasn't Seinfeld? It was uh, Brooklyn Andy Nine Samuel. Nine. Yeah. I was so high I don't remember what we were. They watching. see that's how twisted. Brooklyn Nine Nine. Uh, yeah, so I'll be seeing Lee on Saturday. Hey, honestly, I really want to hang out with you guys on Friday or Thursday. Well, Dave, what are you doing Friday or Thursday? Come on, dude. Hang out with me, Dave. One time. Thursday, we may have happy hour with an old friend or lunch. We got to see. Who? Say. Yeah, don't worry about it. Fly fishing, Charlie. Does, does, I thought Charlie liked me, too. Man. Does he have he your phone number? I'm going to text him today. Because that'll change. If he doesn't have your phone number, how's he supposed to text you? Send me his contact. I'm going to text him. Hey, what's different. up, bitch? No, he, I, he told me. He's like, don't share my number. He wants to keep it like low-key. No, he likes me. Oh, right, yeah, does. for sure. I'm well, I thought we were going to happy hour. I don't want to go to his place and watch Loki. That's so stupid. <laughs> I actually do want to, I need to start Loki. Are we high right now? What's going on? What else? Oh, Friday I might play golf in the morning. Um With TBD. Who? Uh what the just, fuck? It's a thing. Um <laughs> Friday night, nothing. Hey, my Friday's be... wide open. Okay. Mine is too right now. I haven't Don't you guys have work to do? Yeah, but yeah. Not to that. Like how how is it that wide open? Like just kidding. I also got the invite to play golf on Friday. Uh, Saturday, <laughs> Saturday, I'm not playing golf with Will, sadly, but Saturday night, we do have a Sammy's rest. So we are going to Sammy's with, uh, another couple. Wow. I didn't get that invite for the Sammy's rest, by the way, Dylan. No, you didn't. We got to stop doing this. We got to stop being like, we're kind of <laughs> like, we're like catty little high school girls when it comes to getting invited places. You're you're speaking. You're saying we, but who are you going to Sammy's with? I want one invitation. Who are you going we, to Sammy's we with? Literally invited. Who are you John? eating high end Italian what? food with? To Sammy's. You did? Yeah. Last weekend, Alyssa texted Brittany. She oh said wow. You're going to Leon Bridges. Oh. oh okay. And Will, your uh, okay. Wife's out of town. Okay. I did. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. You want? <laughs> we could have had. Hey, man, you want to just third wheel it at Sammy's? Actually, doesn't sound that bad. Okay. What cup? Which cup are you going with? The news? No, it's not the news. Ross, it's uh, it's our friend. Wr, it's a different friend. So not, the, not not a content guy, but a guy that we've played golf with a number of times. Okay, dude, one of the dude perfect guys. It's Kobe. <laughs> it's his last meal before he goes to space. <laughs> <laughs> I did ask him, by the way. I said, "So how did you? Was your wife on board with this? Because he's got a kid and stuff." He's like, "At first, no. I had to, I had to sweet talk her into letting me edge space." So, because I don't know if Alyssa would let me go. She's like, "No, you're not fucking going to to space." 
What are you, Jim Webb? <laughs> anyway, that concludes my weekend and fun. Thanks, guys. Okay. That was a fun one. Well, it well, was. I'm not sure the people will agree. At times. People are going to talk about Do I get to talk it? about like, my weekend? You're either going to oh, love shit. it or Yeah, hey, like, what, what's up with that? Like, Just get to the golf. All right, well, Sally is uh, going to be on a bachelorette party this weekend, which means uh, it's just me and the little dude all weekend. Not a bad thing. Oh, your uh, son. As I have had trouble lo locating any babysitters for the weekend, uh, I will not be doing anything Friday night. Sorry, Dylan. Really? Yeah. Do you, um, do you use the app? No. Oh, you're in the Kyo Facebook group. Yeah. And so I don't have any babysitters. So and uh, to be honest, I'm already spending so much on a babysitter for my Saturday round of golf that I don't really feel like doing it again this weekend. And so uh, I will be staying in Friday night. I'll be playing golf with my brother-in-law and two other dudes. Who are the two others? Is it Colin? Yeah. Hot Colin. And? Tall Ryan. Oh, yeah. Who initiated these golf plans? Uh... You're playing at the L. You're playing at the Matzo Ranch. I'm plead the of, fifth of Austin. I might have sent a text on Sunday saying I'm really horny for golf. Wow! And then one of them might have gone and made the tea time. Gets back from a golf trip. He's just so horny. For I am. Golf. I played six rounds in uh, July, which is more than I've played in one month in a long time. Very age for golf mm -hmm. right now. Uh, and then yeah, Saturday I'm probably gonna get home, take a little nap while the little dude naps, and then uh, who knows? Maybe I'll go to Leon Bridges or something. Just kidding. Can't do that. Yeah, I got nothing going on. EPL weekend starting, though. Friday, Oy. Arsenal match. Saturday morning uh, should be a good slate. Who's up for relegation? <clears throat> well, it, it, everybody, Dave. Everybody. Ooh. That's that's the beauty of the league. Okay. Yeah, everybody's up. No, so I'm actually very excited about that, and it's kind of a reason I don't really feel like doing anything this weekend because I kind of want to just sit around watching footy all weekend. It's, big it's a big day. Should we get out of here? Yeah. You sound sad. Yeah, what's, what's wrong? You guys just... Don't enjoy my company outside the office. Okay, just to be crystal clear, we you're going to a concert on Saturday that we can't go to with you. Even if we had tickets to the concert, even if Dave didn't have a Sammy's reservation with a couple that is yet to be named. You're just talking about Saturday night. We couldn't go with you. You're talking about Saturday night. We couldn't, with, we couldn't go with you. I don't want to do anything Friday night. I don't like going out. Ooh, I'm trying Friday. to save money. You don't like going out? No, I don't like spending money. clones i mean look i like spending money i just don't need to be spending a lot of it okay we're gonna do a never mind okay shut up what dude let's get out of here you should get out of here bye